Okay guys, it is 28 weeks till London and today is day 288 of my run streak. This week's vlog I wanted to be about a new streak I've started. We start streaks. Today is day 8 of my no sugar streak. Now that's no like added sugar. Obviously a big part of running is weight. I wasn't doing the best job of managing my weight over the last few months. I thought one of the things that I do worse is I kind of binge eat sugar, especially when I'm stressed or tired as well. The thing that's easiest to eat is always like biscuits and stuff because they're right there, you don't need to cook them. I tend to always have them in for the kids. You know, and I'm just one of these people that, you know, I'll allow myself one and that turns into two and three and four. And I think of knackered it now, I might as well eat as much as I like. But whilst I've been injured, it's actually a good time to kind of manage your weight, because you're not training, you're not putting all that effort into training. So my focus could sort of shift elsewhere. It's been quite hard so far, the first seven days. You know, it's not something that I want to necessarily eliminate completely from my life. I know Sugar Streak obviously does that. But I just find with me, if I make exceptions, like, oh, well, it's it's a birthday or Halloween coming up, for example. One exception leads to another. And it's just a very quick, slippery slope to just stuff in my face. Stood over the biscuit tin. Five minutes before I go to bed, after I've been quite good all day. Just uh, smashing a whole packet of chocolate hobnobs. They're my favourite. Yes, Joe. It's day nine of my no sugar streak um, today, uh, and it's day 190 of oh, 290 of my run streak. Uh, this morning I weighed myself, and I'm down to 185. So I have lost a little bit of weight, um, not much in nine days really. Um, and I think the main reason for that is that I'm not really being very good with my eating in terms of. You know, I'm cutting out the sugar, um, or you know, a lot of it, but I'm not cutting out enough of a lot of the other stuff that I eat that I shouldn't. And the main one is is just bread. When I um, I do a lot of sort of snacking on biscuits, and that was one of the main problems I had with my eating. But I'm kind of I've replaced that with kind of snacking with bread. Um, which isn't great either. And bread as well, this is sort of what I want to talk about now, is that bread has sugar in. So I'm saying I'm doing a no sugar streak, uh, but am I, because I'm having bread. And this has um, 1.6 grams of sugar per slice. So what I thought I'd do is I'd work out, um, oh my god they look delicious, I'd work out how much sugar is in a biscuit like this. Um, I'm at Vitti's Chocolate Digestive, one of Britain's best biscuits. Uh, and see how much sugar is in bread and so on. And try and get a bit of a, a visual idea of how much sugar I would be eating. You know, like is how bad is a piece of bread compared to a biscuit, for example. Right, so I've got a bunch of stuff here um, that I want to just look into this a bit. This is the kind of stuff that uh, over here that I would typically eat um, that I would identify as being a problem with my diet so stuff like this um, biscuits and then you know the cereal I think we all know that cereal has sugar in even something like this which is just like a shreddies type thing um, yeah the, but there's a lot of sugar in that I think but I won't get kind of I don't eat this that's that's for cleaning but it is sugar free um, which is well probably I don't even know Hula hoops, I wouldn't think have sugar in. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna look through all this, I'm gonna measure out how much sugar is actually in it and get kind of a visual comparison. So yesterday, I actually thought that maybe I could have porridge with maple syrup in, because I was like, that's, that's just natural tree juice, isn't it? So that's all, that's all good. See how much sugar is in that, just going off what this says on the bag. Right, so 0.7 grams of sugar for each slice. 
All right, so it just goes from 0 to 2. OK, so since these aren't very sensitive, probably best to say, OK, well, how much is in um, 10 pieces of bread? So it would be 7 grams. Or how many pieces of bread do you get in a loaf? And that is, oh, in this loaf here, it's 18 slices and it's 1.2 grams per slice. So, in a whole loaf of bread, 18 times 1.2 is maths, 22. So, that is roughly how much sugar is in an entire loaf of bread. I don't know, is that good, is that bad? I have no idea really. Um, I wouldn't. I didn't think there was any sugar in bread up till um, the beginning of this this week. So, well, it's obviously more than I thought. No added sugar tin of tomato soup, which I had for lunch yesterday. Now this does have 5.3 grams of sugar in it, but um, it's all natural sugar because there's no sugar added to it. So I, I can I'm okay with that. It's quite a lot of sugar, but it is um, it's natural sugars, I guess. Um, something like this, this is a tin of tomato soup without, uh, well, with, with added sugar, and sugar is the second ingredient on here. Uh, and that's got 11 grams of sugar, which we know is about half of what's in a loaf of bread. So that's quite a lot. So that is definitely, definitely not something um, I could include in no sugar. Definitely not. There's a whole load of added sugar in something like um, a tin of tomato soup. So I've got this as well, no added sugar bolognese, and again, because tomatoes have a lot of sugar in, because um, they're a fruit, again, this does have 5.3 grams of sugar, um, but it is only natural sugars. Um, so that's how much sugar is in one of these biscuits, and you can see, sort of just looking at it, um, that, you know, it's mainly sugar, isn't it? So if you eat 10 of those, then you've had 40 grams, and I could easily um, easily eat 10 of those in a day. Probably more. I don't count them, you see. I sort of impulsively eat them as I go by. Um, I won't check this because that's, that's similar to 3.1, so a bit less in there, but a bit of a smaller biscuit as well. Cookies I love. I will eat. The thing is, if I, st if I eat one, um, I'll just keep eating them, especially like per day. So if I, if I eat one at 9 in the morning, it's just going to be a bad day. I'll just eat them throughout the day. Um, but if I manage to get to 8 o'clock at night before I'll eat them, um, I'll do the same. I'll at least, I'll, I'll probably just keep eating them, but the day's over quicker. Right. So that is about how much sugar is in one of these. To be honest, I'd probably rather eat one of these for the extra, that's extra gram of sugar, but that's not what I'm doing here. <laughs> I'm not justifying eating one biscuit over another. Right, so... These have um, 10 grams in, so that's a lot more. That's half a half a loaf of bread I could eat. That ketchup is the other one that I really struggle with because I've been eating ketchup all my life. One of those put ketchup on everything kind of people, and um, yeah, it's got a lot of sugar in. Um, that's 2.7 grams for f per 15 grams, so it's a good bit of that sugar, really, isn't it? And then. But that is, I suppose that's natural sugar and added sugar. But if you look on the ingredients, tomato puree, uh, second ingredient, sugar. So not something I should be eating. This reduced, well, less sugar and less salt one. Um, so that still has per 15 grams, right, 1.7. So that was 2.7. Obviously, it's a different brand. <clears throat> but yeah, that's quite a lot of sugar per... 15 grams. I mean, I probably put loads more than that on anyway, so even the reduced sugar um, is a no, really, because it's not natural, it's added. This obviously is all sugar, really. That's got 13 grams of sugar for one sixth of it, so like, you know, I'd probably easily have that on pancakes, but that has 1.5 grams of sugar in it, um, as much as a, a piece of bread. See, that probably is fine, because it's ingredients, potato flakes, oh, they sound nice, don't they, starch, rapeseed oil, oh no, sorry, sugar. So, hula hoops though, um, 
0.5 grams of sugar kind of has that sort of or less than 0.5 grams of sugar let's take a look at the ingredients there potato potato starch and dry potatoes sunflower oil rice flour um, maize flour salt potassium chloride that sounds delicious um, so no added sugar and um, trace amount of sugar so I could in theory have hula hoops I'm sure they're not very good for me for lots of other reasons at one point I used to eat a lot of shreddies for breakfast don't really do that anymore um, but 5.6 grams for 40 grams of cereal so let me just measure that out that's not much So that's that's 40 grams. So there's five grams of sugar per 40. I would probably have twice as much. So I would probably have, if I had these for breakfast, I would probably have 10 grams of sugar doing that. Um, and my, you know, my kids do that as well. So let's look at that. Let's look at what 10 grams of sugar looks like again. I can't remember what bowl is what. So when my big boy has his breakfast in the morning, I'll pull it into my hand maybe I'll see you better that is how much sugar is in that cereal and that's not a frosted cereal or anything you imagine if you, if you put that much sugar on your cereal you'd, you'd be obviously very consciously aware that you're eating quite a lot of sugar for breakfast I think I'm learning I think it's good for me to sort of visualize this so let's have a look at something I went to fish this out of the recycling <laughs> before the bin men got it a minute ago sixth of a cake um, is 21 grams wow so Going back to our bread comparison, that was 21 grams, wasn't it, for um, the bread? So, obviously we know cake's got a lot of sugar in, there's no surprises there, but just to kind of compare one thing to another. So one slice of cake that's probably about, like you see on the box there, about that big maybe, normal cake size, um, contains that much sugar, which is, if you can't see, which is obviously a lot. And that's if you just have one slice. Easy to have more than that. Especially when you're like picking at leftovers and stuff. So loads of sugar in that. So no added sugar jam. You look at the I was looking at this and thinking, oh that's good. But then I read the ingredients, and the first ingredient is is sweetener, not strawberries, obviously. It's a strawberry jam, but the first ingredient is sweetener. So um sorbitol? Sorbitol. I don't know what that is. I don't know what sorbitol is, but it, it sounds more like a medicine than it does something you want to eat. Then it says, caution, it is advisable not to eat more than two tablespoons of this jam a day. An excessive consumption of sorbitol may produce laxative effects. So that sounds, that sounds delicious, doesn't it? Um, um, I can't really say I'm doing a no sugar streak and eat bread with added sugar. I don't think it's right for me, just because I have to kind of have rules for myself. Um, to stick at stuff so I, I kind of think no added sugar is is where I should sort of um, is where I should be with how strict I'm being so if it's found naturally that's fine but if it's added then no so yeah I guess the conclusion of this little section is um, I'm gonna have to quit bread as well I'm gonna say I'm doing a no sugar streak that needs to uh, that needs to go I'm gonna find this really hard I, I think it'll be doubly as hard without bread because I'm, I'm using that as like when I'm wanting to eat biscuits and stuff at those times where I'm kind of craving that kind of thing um, I'm eating bread instead today is day 11 um, so I've done 10 days I'm on day 11 weighed myself the morn this morning same as yesterday quite hard the whole no bread thing definitely found that difficult um, I kind of just, I'll have my tea and I'm absolutely fine all day really. Uh, I have tea and then I finish my tea and I think I'm full and then like, oh I am full. And five minutes later I just get cravings for something sweet or bread. I think I'm used to doing one or the other and I, I just can't like, I just can't stop thinking about food. So I ended up having, I had my tea, what did I have for tea? I can't even remember. It was really nice but I can't remember what it was anyway um, I ended up having after my tea what did I have 
Oh yeah, I had a packet of hula hoops, which I didn't feel great about because, like I said, they're probably not the best anyway. I had a packet of hula hoops and I still didn't feel anything like satisfied. But then I ended up having a bowl of porridge um, with that jam in, <laughs> with the laxative jam. Um, Oi! Nelly's trying to get my dinner. Um, do you want to say hello, Nelly? Hello, how's it going? I don't eat sugar, I'm, I've never had any sugar. I just have dog food every day. Yeah, I'm doing way better than you. It's easy, there's no sugar thing. Especially when you've never had it in your whole life. Well, I have had a bit, because sometimes Joey gives me biscuits. Uh, it is nice, Joey. Okay, so it's um, about well, 25 to 1. And um, just come down to let the doggo outside because she needed a wee wee, maybe. And uh, just can't not think about biscuits. When I come into this room, I just can't not think about biscuits and bread. Biscuits or bread. The impulse I get to, to eat these when the kids leave, like just leave them like that with the top of the lid off. And it is like, it's like an impulse, it's not even a decision. <clears throat> so, I've done. Where's the pen gone? So, I've just got back from a 15k run. Um, this is day 12 of the no sugar streak. Yeah, so I've lost a bit of weight. Last this morning I weighed 182 pounds, so down a little bit, but so many variables. I've ran a lot more this week than I have in previous weeks, and generally I've been thinking about my weight a lot more. Still finding it challenging, um, no sugar. It's not sort of become second nature. I'm really worried about when I start training as well, because obviously you take so much sugar when you're training in terms of gels and um, you know Tailwind, which I, I use, which is like a water-soluble type. Um, running fuel, that's all sugar, so I want to see about that when I start training in a couple of weeks, but um, yeah, it's, it's it's hard not having sugar, really hard, I don't think I'll be doing it forever, but um, it's been good to learn and, and think a little bit about how much sugar is in so much of what I eat, especially with things like bread and ketchup and cereals, that sort of thing, you know, you can eat all that not thinking you're eating much sugar, whereas actually you are still eating quite a lot of sugar when you eat that stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm going to carry on with it. Um, I don't know until when. I think right now it comes down to, you know, whether I make an exception when I'm training or not. Or, you know, do I, I probably don't want to go past Christmas. Because I don't think I want to have no sugar on Christmas. Halloween's coming up. We'll see how we get on. Um, yeah, it doesn't feel like something I want to do forever, but... I don't want to go back to how I was um, a couple of weeks ago where I was just absolutely smashing the biscuit tin all the time. So uh, I need to, when I do stop, I need to maybe set some different rules. So it's maybe not no sugar, but it's maybe only on Sundays. I don't know, something something to give me some rigidity and um, stop me going down a kind of slippery slope with it where I just eat more and more sugar. Um, yeah. Nelly, are you going to say goodbye too? Yeah, I'll say goodbye. It's meant for be my vlog. You're my fluffy wuffy princess. Yes, you are. Pa. Pa. Hey. Bye.